Hello everyone. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to create email addresses in Excel. In many companies, a standard format is used for creating email addresses. For example, I can take the first character of the first name and combine it with the last name to create an email address. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the cell where I want to create the email address. In this case, is in the column C, that's C2. The next thing I need to do is go ahead and click on the FX function, insert the function. So this insert function dialog box appears. Because it's a test command, I will leave it at select a category test. All right. So over here where it says selected function, I'm going to look for the concat, the concat function. So if you're using previous versions of Excel, you're probably going to find the concatenate here. So they do the same thing. So here it's called concat function. So I click on that and I click the OK button. So my function argument box is out. Now remember, I want to use the first letter from the first name and combine it with the last name to create an email address for my organization. So here, where I have the test one box, I'll go ahead and type in the left command, then open a parenthesis, then click the cell where you want to pull out the letter from and close the parenthesis. If you look by the right hand side, you will see it already pulled out the first letter, which is V. All right, that's cool. And that's what I want. So I'll go to the test two box and click on the cell B2, which is the saw name. And if you also look at the box here, you would find that it's already extracted the saw name as Ford. Now on the test three box, I'm going to type in the company's URL. In this case, it's going to be grafted and grafted.com. So here I have the first letter, the saw name pulled out and here I have the URL of the company. To be sure that I have gotten the right thing and what I want, I'll click on the test four box. All right. So if you look over here, you would see that I do have exactly what I want, which is V, the first um, name, the first letter from the first name, surname, forward at graftedtechnology.com. So that's what I want to do. So I'll go ahead and click the OK button. All right, so I have created, so I'll double click here to extend the column width. And here I do have my email address for this particular employee. I'll just go ahead and click on the autofill and fill up the other cells. All right, so it goes ahead to automatically generate email addresses for these other employees. I'll extend the column width by double clicking on that at that edge. So that's it. That's how you can easily curate email addresses for your company.